When was the moment you knew you belonged right here on America's Got Talent? I think the moment I started talking. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, I guess no pressure. <laughs> My name is Joseph Allen. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Texas, and I'm a singer-songwriter. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm about to look like a punk in front of 15 million people. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> when I was two, my parents, they divorced. My mom remarried, and my dad remarried. I grew up in a blended family. I was the youngest out of 12 of us. My mom, my dad, my stepmom, and my stepdad, every single one of them played a serious role in, in my upbringing. When I told my dad I was gonna be on America's Got Talent, my dad cried. He's always known that I've had this thing of just like, saying something and then accomplishing it. When I was younger, when I said, I'm gonna be a motocross racer, I just started training, watching YouTube videos and like breaking bones. And before I knew it, I was winning races and beating guys who have been racing forever. And then it's the same with the music. I wrote a song for my mom and I recorded a video of me singing the song. And then I posted it on Facebook and then people started sharing it like crazy. Still gonna be your baby boy, mom. I taught myself how to produce, how to mix music, how to engineer. Now I'm here. I love you guys, man. And we love you back. And when I'm done on the stage, I want to be able to look at them and say, yeah, I made them proud. Go out there, Joseph, and make I'm it make happen. A, I'm going to make a deal with you really quick. Yes. If I get the golden buzzer, you got to come out there and pick me up. Oh, I got it. Listen, right. I promise you that. All right, sweet. For real. All I, right. I will throw you across the stadium. Go ahead. <laughs> go, go, go. What's your name? Uh, my name's Joseph Allen. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I go to school out in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they also go to school in Phoenix, Arizona? I think Arizona? they go to my same school, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 21. What are you gonna do here for us tonight? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna perform a song I wrote for you guys. Oh, an original, original yeah, song? Yeah, an original song, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you decide to enter the show this year? I see myself as being someone who can make a major impact in the world, and I just want to see how much of a footprint I can leave on Earth before I leave. I am so intrigued. Uh, yeah, you got to let us see it now. Good luck. Thank you. He's you so think this cute. is serious? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Life moments come and go Take a shot or you'll never know Your heart will tell you when it's time to move Ask yourself what you got to lose When it storms, when it rains It falls on all of us the same But after today The world's gonna know my name Everybody backstage, please don't be scared. Cause up close, Simon looks just like a teddy bear. A couple steps up off the stage, watch how far that I go. And I'ma feed my fam with this, and that's no bullshit. Chicago. Oh, no. Backtrack. Put the competition in my backpack. I'm trying to be incredible, yeah. like my birth name was Jack Jack. And now I'm standing on this stage here at AGT. Dreams do come true, and you can take it from me. Just one man who has drive, determination in my eyes. If they don't say that I worked hard for this, trust me, they lie. Make the crowd say, oh, yeah, knock it out like they lie. I'm all about pushing the limits, not about pushing papers. Do you feel me? America, can you hear me? This young man's out here chasing dreams. I hope you see that clearly. My entire future, man, I put it on the line. Hey, so I got to make it now before I'm out of time. In life, moments come and go. Take a shot or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains, it falls on all of us the same. But after today, the world's gonna know my name.
man. I feel blessed. This is crazier than I thought, man. <laughs> is your family here tonight? Yeah, 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 they're right. That's a big family. I grew up in a blended family, but they all played a major part in me growing up. I just want to thank all you guys. You guys raised the dreamer, man, and we're doing it. Listen, dreams come true on this stage. And I'm, I think we're seeing your dream come true. I'm sorry I look like a punk up here right now. I'm a punkette, then, because I am literally crying as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a new generation with millennials and, like, putting out there what is good in this world. And I believe you are so good. Thank and... you so much. <laughs> I'm a fan. Do I do this? Yeah. You got the best reaction for doing nothing we've ever had on this show. Like, you got a standing ovation before we even performed. Yeah. And I'm thinking, <laughs> am I like one step behind here? And I said to Jill, is this serious or not? And I think it is. I tell you what, the whole world should go to your school right now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> You've got amazing energy, I've got to tell you. Thank you, Simon. And I like your voice as well. I think you've got Thank a great you. tone. I uh, might not be the best singer in the world, but man, I love to perform. No, but I love you. I love you. Look, Joseph, first impressions to me are everything. And watching the reaction you got before you even started, like I said, was astonishing. That was an amazing audition. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. From the moment you walked out, your smile yeah. is electric. Thank you know, you. and you walked out with such exuberance and such, and, and that's what life is, you know? Life is a series of moments. People at home are talking about this moment. People in this room are talking about this moment. People just want this moment to happen. Now you said you want to leave a footprint. Well, I'm gonna give you the footprint you need to leave. I'm so happy to be a small part of it. Yes, sir. I'm yeah. proud of you, man. <laughs> and please give your parents a hug. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> happier for you, man. I'm just like, I'm busting like it's like, you, I gotta tell you though, you heavy, man. Yeah. You are heavy. <laughs> I'm Dom, I'm 26, and I am a magician. When I was six years old, my granddad wanted to find a way to relate to his grandkids, something to bond with us, and magic was what he chose. And that's where my obsession with magic began. I loved it and decided I'm gonna be a magician. As I grew older, I realised working as a magician is not always the most glamorous job. I've done shows where no one has watched. I've done shows in the pouring rain. I have endless horror stories. And it got to a point where I questioned if magic was the thing that I really wanted to do. Then last year, my granddad passed away. It made me think about those amazing times I had when I was a kid and it reminded me why I love magic. So I decided to continue the legacy that he created. America's Got Talent is every magician's dream. But I'm a little nervous. 
this is the biggest stage in the world, and I think that you've missed the mark. You've seen some incredible magicians on this show. Now they're headlining shows in Las Vegas. For me, this could be what changes everything, and I really hope it is. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Dom Chambers. I am 26, and I'm from Australia. And what do you do in Australia? I do magic. Have you had a, like a really tough gig? I know as a comedian I have. I was once hired to perform magic at a funeral. You can imagine how tense that was. <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. But is that your card? Is that the one? It was... <laughs> what did you say when you got the booking? I said, how much? <laughs> <laughs> so why America's Got Talent? Well, this is the biggest stage in the world, and I don't want to be doing those shows anymore. This is where I want to be. All right, well, good luck. Go ahead. Okay. Folks, if you would like to see the appearing glass of beer trick, say yes. Yes! All right. One empty paper bag. One dramatic magic gesture. One beer coaster. No, that's not it. <laughs> this is the appearing glass of beer trick. Now, they say a good magician would never repeat the same trick twice. Well, lucky for you, I'm not a very good magician. All right, here's one for the non-beer drinkers. Bottle of wine in the bag. Fwah. A tiny bottle. Please, bang, wine! Whoa! <laughs> Come on, here we go. They say, don't worry, in case, of an emergency, always bring a spare <laughs> coaster. coaster. <laughs> but where there's a coaster, there's a beer. Not there. <laughs> All right, now we're warming up. Nothing in the sleeves except for the coaster. Uh, but other than that, Absolutely nothing to hide. No hidden glasses, no hidden beers, except for that one. Here we go, America! Bag, coaster, beer, yes! And another, come on! <laughs> All right, here we go. No jackets, no sleeves, no shoe. That's my shoe. I'm Seth I'm 30 years old, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a performer. I auditioned last season of AGT, but it didn't go as I'd hoped. What's your name, please? My name is Seth Ward, the Caterpillar. America's Got Talent was this huge opportunity, and I felt like I had blown it. Seth Ward, this is the worst act we've had. It's four no's, goodbye. I stopped performing altogether and went back home. I needed to get to the place that I connect with the most, and that's nature. That's when I realized I did have something powerful to deliver. I just did it wrong last time. And so I am back with a new talent that I want to share with people. This is going to be one of those good days, I think. 
this is my chance for redemption, and isn't that what life's about? Failing so miserably, but coming back even stronger? I'm excited to show the judges the new heights that I can reach. Oh, hi! I'm a giraffe! Oh, boy. Wow! Look at all the beautiful people! I know who you are. Huh? You were a caterpillar last year. Wait a second. That's the same guy? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm set with the giraffe. OK, so you were a caterpillar, whatever that thing is, last year, and now you've turned into <laughs> a giraffe. <laughs> OK, you know what, Sethward? Uh, I'm not going to ask you any questions, because I tried that before, so good luck. Oh, thank you so much, Simon. You know, a lot of people know that giraffes give birth standing up, but not many people know that sometimes when a giraffe falls 11 feet from the mother's uterus, that he lands on his head. That's me, the shortest neck giraffe. Seth, what, is this going I, anywhere? What? <laughs> yes, it is. How can you boo an animal? watching AGT, my friends on YouTube, click below and subscribe.